Well, here we are taking on the outside because it's time for Walk and Talk and today we're doing things a little bit different, you know. I'm hanging out with Phoebe, who's from my former alma mater, you say, what's Hello. up? How are you? You good? <laughs> very well. Well, we're going to do something very interesting today because mm -hmm. I know your story is great and mm -hmm. just looking at your before and after, you've got a lot to tell us. Yeah. And the challenge is, can we do this amazing power walk first? And how will our breath be when we're done? After. Yes, I, I think I think we got this. You got this? <laughs> I think we got so, this. So what we're gonna do is start our power walk now, mm -hmm. and then have that conversation when we're done. So here we go. <laughs> What a power walk. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Phoebe, you've got long legs. I've got, I've got long strides. Oh it's it's one of the perks of being tall. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> short, so I have to run to keep up with you. But my goodness. It's one of those. Have you been doing a lot of exercise from the get-go? Yes, I have, actually. That is the reason why. You are good with the cardio? Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I do a lot of cardio, so it's not hard for me. It's not hard. Yeah. So tell me, when did you decide to make a change? Because. We've looked at you before and after, and I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. It's a, it's a huge What difference. happened? Um, it was in August 2014. Mm -hmm. I just woke up. We had closed school. Mm -hmm. I, I was in my freshman year, actually. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I want to lose some weight. I want to get my life back to me. Yeah. And that's what I did. Okay, but is there one thing? You know, everybody has a trigger. Yeah. My trigger was the fact that I was in pain. My legs mm -hmm. had swollen and I was in pain. Mm -hmm. Did you have a trigger? Because if you were big for a long period of time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you get comfortable you get comfortable yeah. and you also convince yourself you're fine mine was a health reason and i mean not to mm -hmm. say that i didn't think i was fly yeah it was. <laughs> you, you gotta stay <laughs> fly though you know. Yeah, you know but was there anything else that triggered you like seriously was there? um yeah there was i went for i went for shopping once mm -hmm. and i wanted this dress at Woolworths yeah. and the last size they had was a size 16 yeah and I was a size 22 at the time so yeah. there's no way in hell I'd get that dress no way you'd fit into that so that's the day I just said you know what if I can get the dress I want I can make myself get into that dress do you see there's it's always something that, way. Yeah. that can push you to say enough is enough and now that you made the decision and you say that you started actually working out when did you realize that you had to include your food diet and watching what you eat for it to even work as you work out that happened in january 2015 okay because i had been working out like i'd been going hard you know mm. like i'm running i was mm. doing aerobics all that good stuff yeah. but i was losing like the weight i was losing for the amount of work i was doing wasn't yeah. as much and it wasn't adding up and, then and it, it wasn't frustrating yeah. as exactly well. yeah yeah because you actually think i'm like yeah i could run i can you know i can do all these things yeah. but it's not showing yeah. like i'm losing weight but it's not as much as I would like. Yeah. So in January, then I started, I didn't start my diet. I just like did research, yeah. read about like, you know, carbs and the carbs I can eat, the carbs I can't eat, mm -hmm. the types of food to eat, mm -hmm. not fried food. You know, yeah. if you really want something fried, you can bake it. Instead, yes, exactly. You know? And oven baking is so Oven perfect. baking is perfect. Food is it's, still sweet. It's still as like good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of eating fries, I'd make like sweet potato fries instead. Mm -hmm. Just like the small things, I, I had to stop eating ugali. <laughs> Not that I, I suffer. It's always a problem, you <laughs> know. We, you know, and where, where you come from, if you come from the west side, you, you gotta, know. You got it, you, you know. But you let it go. You had to. Yeah. You have to, because at the end of the day, it's for you. It's for you. You have to do what's best for you. And I think that's a, the, the best message that I would tell, you know, to all the people who would love to get healthy. If you're thinking about doing this for somebody else or because somebody else Told is telling you, you mm -hmm. that you don't look nice or they make you feel bad about yourself it's not going to happen until you decide for yourself yeah. the decision is about you saying i'm going to change my life and don't think about it as just to lose weight think about it as, as a lifestyle, a lifestyle. Yeah. because now your plan is to maintain correct you have to, this yeah. is it and you're in and you're not stopping can't happen. It can't happen. And you're it in campus. Happen. You know, the people who say you get too busy, oh, I'm in campus, I'm studying, I can't. I actually want to challenge that yeah. because when you're in campus, you have a lot of time okay. that you don't even realize. Because yeah. for me, for example, mm -hmm. there's this whole stereotype that USIU, you've got, you know, you've got time, yeah. you've got, you know. Yeah. But when you think about it in real sense, you have a lot of time to do other things apart from school. Mm -hmm. If you just, for example, I used to wake up at nine. Mm -hmm. Now I wake up at six. 
so that you can get in a so workout. that I can get in a workout I can and do my run I come back I go to my classes yeah. I have my lunch yeah you know yeah. I go out from class then I'll probably have like a small session mm. then go back to my classes yes it's hectic but it but can there be is done. it can be done yeah and it as long as it starts with you deciding that you want to change your life to be mm -hmm. the best version of yourself yeah so now you know that even if you're in campus, you can do it this. It is possible. It's possible. She's a living testimony. <laughs> and if you can't fit into that dress and you want it so bad, how's mm -hmm. about you change your Yourself. life? So, all at us. I'm on WhatsApp. We can get chatting. You can get to hear more amazing stories as we share. If you want a personal conversation, drop me an email and I'll be sure to get back to you. Mm -hmm. We are done with our walk and talk. We just need to go and freshen up and get more yeah. water. That's what's up. <laughs>